So magnesium has a normal value of 1.6 to 2.6 milligrams per deciliter. It's an important lab value to run, and we will run it often to monitor for patients with renal failure, chronic alcoholism, and a lot of times with cardiac arrhythmias. A lot of times we'll do our magnesium and our potassium, you know, and then our cardiac injury profile if we have a patient whose EKG has changed uh, or if we suspect there might be some sort of cardiac issue going on. So magnesium is a cation, and it's necessary for several things. It's necessary for protein synthesis, uh, nucleic acid synthesis, muscle contraction, uh, ATP use, nerve impulse conduction, and blood clotting. It also affects the absorption of sodium, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. So it plays a role in a lot of places in the body. And the place that I have seen it used most, and the reason I have normally seen this lab drawn, is for the muscle contraction side of things and for the cardiac arrhythmia side of things. Uh, You know, if you have a patient who comes in with a a normal EKG, you're monitoring their EKG and you notice changes. You might notice a U wave uh, or something like that. You You would notify the physician and a lot of times magnesium level will be drawn. Uh, so before you, if you start to notice EKG changes, the first thing you should really do is is look at uh, the most recent labs, look at a potassium, look at a magnesium, see what they are, and then notify the physician and see if you can get an EKG, see if you can get a mag, see if you can get a, a potassium. So some of the things that would cause elevated magnesium levels are things like renal insufficiency, uh, also uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, Addison's disease, dehydration, hypothyroidism, overuse of antacids, or tissue trauma. Now with all of our electrolytes, uh, I want you to understand that you're gonna see increased levels of the electrolytes when the patient is dehydrated. And to understand that, you really just have to think about, let's say you have a, a set amount of electrolytes in your body. If your volume goes down, if your fluid goes down in your system, you're going to have a higher concentration of those electrolytes. So for our patients who are volume depleted or, or for whatever reason um, have low volume or are dehydrated, we're going to see their electrolytes are gonna be a bit higher, okay? Some reason we're going to see their decrease level would be alcoholism, DKA, malnutrition, malabsorption, diarrhea. A lot of patients will lose magnesium uh, via diarrhea. So you, they would see that, you know, obviously also with uh, diabetic acidosis, which would, you know, be like uh, metabolic acidosis, okay? So with metabolic acidosis, we're going to have a lot of diarrhea. We would lose a lot of magnesium. And so we'd see our, our level of mag depleted there. So magnesium is an important one to look at. A lot of times we overlook it because it's not, you know, part of our, our BMP, but it's an important one to look at. We'd want to run our, our BMP with a mag, um, which would allow us to see more what's going on with a lot of our electrolytes and be able to kind of see, you know, what might be the reason for any sort of arrhythmias, uh, how our patient's responding, or if, uh, you know, certain conditions like the diarrhea or possibly dehydration or whatever is leading to either high or low uh, magnesium levels. All right, guys, that's magnesium. Hope that helps.